This is a continuation of uh, a YouTube teaching and uh, I know many of you have been uh, uh, following my last teachings on YouTube, uh, teachings on uh, Warrior Seed Syllable and I have received a lot of uh, wonderful feedback from many people and I'm very happy to hear that and that I decided to do more so as it's continuously benefiting many people and this is uh, uh, clearly seems like a, a wonderful uh, a tool a media is this wonderful tool the technology is wonderful tool to uh, break the boundaries of uh, many boundaries to able to do this so that not not me that I have to go to many people or the people have to come to me this still is possible to communicate some teachings so I'm very happy to do this and so those who have been uh, watching it and kind of really like uh, seriously trying to follow practice and uh, I'm very happy you're doing that but I also if this is a very meaningful to you then I'm going to ask you uh, if you can also let uh, a lot of other people know basically uh, take a little initiative to to put together a bunch of uh, um, the addresses together and uh, inform other people who might be benefit that friends of yours and so on so that will be I'm requesting especially those you feel it's a very beneficial things for you and so we can that this is how we can uh, share with more people and this is I, I will feel wonderful as I'm putting uh, my effort and energy to do this and also uh, all the my students who's giving me support to do this in the Burn Buddhist tradition uh, the goal of our life is to achieve a full liberation or the Buddhahood and the the Buddha nature is in every sentient beings, uh, not only human beings, but every insects and any animals. We all have the same Buddha nature. And our life is the meaning of this life, important part of the meaning of this life is to achieve that. So Dharma, there are three principal pathways. One, it's called a path of renunciation that basically you renounce your negativities, your negative emotions, and negative thoughts uh, whenever they are coming uh, so that you learn to control and renounce. Uh, that is more like a part of the Sutra. The second part is the part of transformation, a part of the Tantra. Basically, it does not necessarily renounce the things, and renounce the five poisons and ignorance but it trying to work with five poisons and transform the, those energy into a five wisdom so basically is the path of transformation and finally the path of liberation is the path of Dzogchen which is a very much like a um, not renouncing your five poisons or your negative emotions or not trying to work and transform and changing negative emotions rather leaving them as they are where they are and not following them not elaborating them just just living as it is and when you leave these negative emotions as it is they do not have any their own power to continue what happens is they just liberate by themselves it's called self-liberation it's like a, the metaphor is like an example of uh, a poison a plant poison uh, the ordinary person can not use it if you eat it you will die therefore only thing you do is you're trying to renounce you're trying to throw away uh, put it away somewhere the children cannot touch nobody can touch that's the path of renunciation or doctors who have a skill and a knowledge to transform them so a doctor adds some other medicinal plants 
and transform that poison into a medicine and heals the sickness. So that is like a part of Tantra and part of transformation. And the peacock eats the poison. And when peacock does not need to, to renounce it or trying to change and transform it, peacock eats it as it is. And what poison does to peacock, it enhances the beauty and the color of the peacock's life. So that is like the approach of the Dzogchen. So these are the uh, three uh, principal uh, methods of a path to liberation. They all are important, equally important.